Hello guys, today I'm joined by a very special guest, Reed Walker, who played the amazing, iconic character Harry Warner on Shortland Street. Thank you so much for doing this, Reed. Hi, thank you for having me, James. It's a pleasure. Oh, so let's start from the very beginning, I reckon. Harry Warner, before you, was played by a different actor. He was a little bit of a whiny little shit, to be honest. <laughs> Chris took the whiny Harry to Italy, and then when they came back a few weeks later, Harry was no longer the Harry we knew and loved. Yes, there had been an exchange somewhere. <laughs> yes, it was almost like Chris had gone to Italy and lost Harry and thought, okay, I'll just find another kid. And then... No one will ever notice, like yes. replacing a cat. <laughs> yes. Did you know that you were replacing someone? No, I had no idea. Initially, the audition was or was said to be for um, the role of an ambulance officer's son. That would be like a six-week thing, um, and then that would be it. Because obviously, they wanted to keep it a secret that they were replacing Harry. When did it hit you that you had kind of t <laughs> taken someone's job? I'd taken someone's job. <laughs> I don't know if it ever really did, to be honest. I didn't really think of it that way. I don't know, it was just kind of a, uh, oops. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to run through some of the key Harry Warner storylines. Sure. 2011. Harry is such a little brat that Rachel smacks him. Yes, the, uh, the spank. <laughs> um wasn't super shocking when I read it or anything. It was kind of like, oh, yeah, bound to happen at some point. I, I get it. Um, <laughs> I remember being fitted for my uh, spank pad, essentially, which was the little rubber. Oh, my gosh, you've just cut out on a key moment. Oh, no. Are you there? Mamma mia. You, are we you back? There? Yes. Where do we get to? Um, You just started with spank pad. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's a bad point to cut out. <laughs> no, it's essentially, well, it was essentially just a uh, little rubber foam mat which uh, went into my pants so that I didn't feel the hit and, you know, health and safety and everything was nice and kosher. So. Oh, my gosh. 2013. Harry drinks a potion made of garden weeds on Halloween. Yes. And nearly dies. Yeah. Chicken. No, and don't drink any more. Harry, don't! Lying in a pool of my own vomit for several hours while they filmed that. Very amusing. I think I went to school later that day because we filmed it in the morning in my full, like, pale makeup. So I looked as if I was still dead, essentially. Did the kids at school ever ask you to give them spoilers about what was happening on the show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. Lots of them who, they didn't watch it, of course, but, but their sister watched it or, you know, someone they knew watched it and they weren't interested at all. But um, <laughs> obviously, how much money do you make was another big one. Um, yes, that was my next question, actually. 2014, some very crucial Harry moments. Harry announces he doesn't like mayo on his chips and throws his shoes at Chris Warner. Tomato sauce, check. Mayonnaise, check. I don't do mayo and chips anymore. My apologies. Those were... I don't think I like mayo on my chips either. Yeah, I was going to ask so, you, did you relate to Harry in any way growing up? I don't know if I related to him so much. He's, he definitely had a very different life to my life, I think. The main difference from your lives was that when you got spanked in real life, you didn't have a spank pad on. Exactly. <laughs> um, okay, 2015. Harry takes a photo of him kissing Lucy while she's asleep. Yes. And runs her a bath, um, and which falls through the ceiling and destroys the Warner Mansion. I don't mean it to happen, it's just Lucy was cold and wet, so I thought I'd give her a nice hot bath. Now you're just a game center I used to know. You know, as I'm reading these out, I'm starting to realize why everyone hates Harry Warner so much. 2017. Harry went on an exchange program in China whilst Chris was on drugs. How's the weather in Tokyo? I told you, I'm in Shanghai. Love you. Sayonara. Bye. 
later in the year we had the iconic moment the please tell me that is not your penis Wait, did you feel like a celebrity <laughs> i suppose i kind of did at some point it was like 11 or 12 o'clock at night and someone sent me the youtube link them recreating that scene on the jimmy kimmel show okay so harry warner was the most popular Shortland Street character to ever exist. Was he? One, one little freak even wrote a song about you. <laughs> Sold your hand in my Harry Warner, it'll be divine. Harry Warner. <laughs> oh, yes, I recall that little freak song. <laughs> um, no, but Harry, he was a controversial character. People did not like Harry. I mean, if it's all right. It's totally fine. I want to read you a couple of comments that I found on a Facebook search. Hope Harry gets shot. The kid needs a good <laughs> kick up the a-hole, if you ask me. Harry looks like Ron off Kim Possible. That one's not too bad. I think. Yeah, I saw a few memes of that one, actually. Yeah, Ron's a sexy guy. Harry is a little wimp, real life as well. And that's from someone called Len... I don't think I've ever met a Len... Yeah, I'm like, I think I've ever met a Lynn. <laughs> yeah. I saw someone also say, Harry Warner is the max key of Shortland Street. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that one hurts. Yeah, because he, he was a bit of a spoiled brat. But I was a fan. I yes. mean, honestly, at least he had some personality. If every character on Shortland Street was like bloody Sarah Potts, it would be the most boring show I've ever watched in my life. <laughs> Did you read many of the comments? I think the, the golden rule is to not read any of them, but yes, I read most of them, I think. Or they would be sent to me if they were big enough and funny enough oh by God. friends of mine. I sometimes have friends send me hate comments, and they're always like, ha, 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 and then I read it, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, thank you so much. It's been a joy to chat to you, Reid. Ah, oh, thank you so much, James.